OK, we're going to have a look at adding and subtracting fractions now. As I always say to the children, it's really, really important to look at the numbers you've given because some of them are dead easy. For example, the first one on the board here, we've got 1 ninth add 4 ninths. The children have got to focus in on the fact that the denominator is the same. If the denominator is the same, it's easy. We've not got to do anything. We just add the numerator at the top. 1 add 4 is 5 ninths. Okay, an ever so simple addition for children to do in a year six. That's, but they just need to know that that's what they need to do. They need to be looking for the clues. If it's different, for example, here we've got a half add a third. The children need to find a common uh, multiple of those two numbers, a half and a third. And I've been teaching them how to do this visually. We've had a visual model for this. So we've got a half here. I'm going to shade that in. And then underneath, in a different colour, just to make it clear, I'm going to draw our third. And I've drawn those going horizontally across the page. Now all I do is transfer my half to that side and my thirds to this side. And I can see now clearly that on both sides I'm making sixths. Okay. And on here I can see I've got two sixths and on this side I've got three sixths. Now the children have been doing this and they've been working out and they're able to calculate the answer as five six there. But now they've done it for a little while, the children have spotted the pattern. They've spotted that all we're doing is timesing the denominator, two multiplied by three, to get the six. And then whatever we do to this number, we must do to this number. And I've got a bit of an action that helps the children remember that. So this number here, if you remember, we times that by three. So that's what we do to the number at the top. And you can see over here, we've got three sixths. And it's the same over on this side, on this side, I times that number by two. So I've got to do the same to the number at the top to get two sixths. And if the children can remember that, a problem like this, which looks like quite a difficult problem at first glance, can be solved in less than a minute. And children are absolutely rattling through these and doing a fabulous job. I'll just show you a, a slightly different one here. This time we've got four fifths take away a quarter. Okay, first thing they've got to pick up on different denominators. The denominators are different. Okay, so just like before, we could sketch out a visual model. On this side, I'm going to draw my fifths. And on this side, working in the opposite direction, I'm going to draw my quarters. And I'll shade that in. And I shade that in. And then I just transfer my quarters over to this side and my fifths over to that side. And I can see that in both cases I'm making a new fraction and that fraction is twentieths. Okay. The pictorial model shows me what, percent, or what, what number of the twentieths is shaded there. So on this side I've got 4, 8, 12, 16. On this side I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, it's a simple calculation. 16 take away 5 is 11 twentieths. Now, for those children becoming fluent with this, they can see that on this side I've times by 4 and I've times by 4. Whatever I do to my bottom, I must do to the top. 5 fours are 20, 4 times 4 is 16. On this side, I've times the fraction by 5. 4 fives are 20, 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, And as I said to you, that is a problem that children can solve in less than a minute, no problem.